Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. Today I'm going to show you how I built a working replica BB-8 from Star Wars. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the ball that the BB-8 droid is made up of. So if I take it apart, you can see the inside. So this ball was made using layers of newspaper and fiberglass. So the first thing that I did is I took an exercise ball, a rubber one, and I blew it up. And this exercise ball was 20 inches, which are the dimensions of the BB-8 in the movie. So what I did is I took some newspaper and I started layering it over the exercise ball using a glue and water solution. So if you look inside, you can see the layers of newspaper that are on the top. Then after I've done two layers of newspaper, I put a layer of fiberglass along with the glue. So after I added that fiberglass, I added then another layer of newspaper. So then after that final layer of newspaper, I sprayed on this kind of plaster material that's commonly used on walls as wall texturing. And I used a paint sprayer to coat this whole ball evenly in uh, plaster. So after that, I sanded it down to get it smooth, and I painted it white. For all the painting and design patterns on the BB-8, I had one of my friends make cardboard spray paint cutouts, so that way I could layer them on top of the BB-8 and spray it with spray paint. So after painting, what I did is I used a hacksaw, and I cut open the BB-8 along the edge, so I got two even halves. And I took the halves, and I took the inside, and I covered it with glue, so that way it's very smooth. And so that way the wheels do not catch on the newspaper inside here and rip it up. Then after that, I took pieces of a cereal box, and I also glued them onto the side of the BB-8, so that way when the two halves are placed on top of each other, they won't slip and slide around. So that way when you uh, assemble the BB-8, you can assemble it like this, and it slides together, and it fits put together pretty good. So now for the robot portion of the BB-8. So what I've done for the robot is I cut out a piece of wood into a circular shape, and then I cut slight divots out here using a jigsaw for the motors to fit. And then... Finally, I added a wood peg on the top as the tower to hold the servo that rotates the magnets that rotates the head. So, on this BB-8 body, I also used two ball bearings on the side to keep it from sliding around in the robot and rotating. For the wheels on the bottom, I put them at an angle because I first tried them putting them vertical but that didn't gain enough traction on the BB-8 shell. So I put them at a 45 degree angle, and that makes it work much better. Now to attach the wheels to the motor, I had to make a specialized hub that I 3D printed. To attach the wheels to the body, I had to make some specialized uh, pieces of wood so I could screw it on at a certain angle. I just used a chop saw to make that angle. Now this cardboard thing you see on the bottom, this is a counterweight, so it makes the BB-8 able to roll better and gain more traction. Now for the electronics portion of the BB-8. So, if you look on here, I have an Arduino, a motor controller, a 433 MHz receiver, and a few other components. So what happens is the 433 MHz receiver is wired to the Arduino. And when the Arduino, Arduino receives a certain sequence from the, the RF receiver, then it pro makes the motors do certain things. So if it gets a certain number, then both motors go forward. If it gets a certain number, both motors go backwards, and all the other things it can do. The battery that I'm using for it is uh, just a lithium-ion battery meant for a RC car. And the whole thing is connected to 
uh, switch so I can turn it on and off. The motor controller is an LM286 I think and this speaker and circuit board right here allow the BB-8 to make noises. So this circuit board is just from a generic voice recorder and what happens is when I turn on the robot I can record any sound I want onto the speaker and then when I press a certain button on my controller and it activates this transistor right here and the transistor is on the play button and it lets the BB-8 play a certain sound. So here is my transmitter or my remote control and so what I've done with this is I've taken a piece of wood and I've made two separate panels for each side each one has a few push buttons inside so the ribbon cables that go from under each panel are going to the push buttons so what happens is the electricity from the batteries goes into the boost converter because the RF transmitter on the top here it uses 12 volts to get maximum distance so it boosts the voltage here to go to to the RF transmitter and it also goes to the VIN of the Arduino which supplies it with power and so when you press a certain button on here it sends a certain variable via the RF transmitter to the BB-8 so you can robot. see the robot works perfectly so I'm pressing the buttons on the remote controller and the robot moves in the certain directions it's supposed to when I press the sound button, it plays whatever sound that I've recorded onto the module. In this case, I put my tenor tick in true. <laughs> so, the robot works perfectly inside here. All the electronics work amazing. The servo spins according to the two buttons on here. And everything, electronics-wise, works awesome. Now, there is one problem with this uh, BB-8. So, I cannot seem to get the head to attach to the servo through the shell well. So my problem is I've tried using many different magnets. I've used these hard drive magnets attaching them to the servo to attach the head through the shell but I can't seem to find the right distance between the magnets and the head because if the magnets are too far from the head the head falls off. Yet if the, ro the magnets are too close to the head the magnets stick the robot to the side of the shell and the robot can't move inside at all. So finding the optimum distance is very hard and I still haven't been able to accomplish that yet. Another problem that I've been running into is the cracking of the shell. All the plaster you see right here that's been cracked, um, I fixed that with wood glue, but every time I drive it more and more cracks appear. Which isn't good, but it doesn't work for too long. So. If you are building a VB-8, I would highly recommend you use something else than building a shell out of fiberglass and newspaper paper mache because it is prone to cracking. So if you can, you should find a plexiglass ball on the internet, but I couldn't find one. So as you can see, um, when you drive the BB-8, the whole body can work absolutely perfectly, but the head doesn't stay on. So I can drive this around, and it will work amazing, but the head doesn't roll with it, sadly. So, besides the problem with the head, this BB-8 works perfectly great. Now, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.